everyone, it's Agnieszka Murdoch from 5 Minute Language. Welcome to my channel, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up, I really appreciate it. So today's video is about whether or not it's a good idea to learn two languages at the same time. It's a question that many people ask me about and I've actually made a video before about how to learn two languages at the same time but uh, the question of whether or not it's a good idea it's a separate question so I thought I would address it in a separate video. So when you think about learning two languages at the same time it might seem to you that it is actually a good idea because if you wanted to learn two languages um, that was your goal and then you waited until you know the first language before you start learning the second language you might actually be waiting a very long time. So um, you might be waiting several years before you become fluent in the first language to then start learning the second language. So obviously you would lose a lot of time if you learn two languages at the same time that the process can be more efficient because you can get to your goal more quickly, perhaps. Um, but also if you wanted to wait until you're fluent in the first language how would you actually know that you're fluent? How would you know that you've reached that stage where you can say, okay, I'm done with this language, I'm gonna start the next one. It's quite tricky to do that. So let's explore the different reasons why it's a good idea and maybe not such a good idea to learn two languages at the same time. So there are many different things that you would need to consider before you make the decision as to whether you want to learn two languages at the same time. If you're learning one language and you get demotivated and discouraged, you just give up one language and then you move on to the next language. But if you're learning two languages at the same time, things can get slightly overwhelming because if you're struggling with each language, then the problem is twice as big and you're more likely perhaps to uh, give up and basically uh, not have any languages. At least when you're learning one language and you give it up because you're demotivated or you're struggling, then at least there's some hope because you can pick up another language and you end up learning a new language again rather than giving up two languages and not learning anything. So there are some obvious advantages in addition to what I already said at the start of the video uh, to learning two languages at the same time. So the first one is it can be more efficient if you choose languages that share a lot of different aspects. So for example if you pick up Polish and Russian uh, then you will be learning about cases and you will be learning about the grammar of each language which is quite similar actually. So once you understand the concept of cases in Polish then moving on to Russian will be a lot easier. Uh, similarly if you start learning grammar with Polish and then you move on to Russian I think Russian grammar is considered slightly less difficult so you would benefit from learning Polish at the same time. If you pick up uh, languages that have a lot of overlap in terms of vocabulary, uh, such as Spanish and Italian, then the process will be more efficient because you will be learning a lot of similar vocabulary in each language. You will be able to make the most of cognates. Um, so for example, you learn a word in Italian and then the word in Spanish is the same. So it will be easier for you to memorize those words. If you choose two languages to learn which are very different from each other, you can also benefit from learning two at the same time because you would potentially avoid burnout. So when you're just uh, learning something in a very kind of intensive way over a long period of time, uh, you might actually get demotivated and burnt out because it's just uh, a bit too much, it gets a bit too intense. Um, you know, for some people it's not a problem, but for other people they will get burnt out. So if you're learning languages that are very different from each other, you can benefit from a bit of variety. And variety is very important when you're learning anything. Uh, that's why you know people who teach um, how to learn languages or teach languages always recommend using a variety of different resources. So rather than just using one app, use two different apps. Rather than using one textbook, use two different textbooks and so on. So when you're learning two languages at the same time, you move between them, you get a bit of variety and you're less likely to get into that state of being burnt out. So when you're learning two languages at the same time, like I said, you might be able to get to your goal more quickly, but this can actually slow you down because you will only be able to devote half of your free time to learning each language. So you will be learning less but that can actually be an advantage. So uh, the volume of the language that you will be learning every day or every week will be less, which can be psychologically easier to manage. So 
For example, if you're just learning one language, you might be aiming for 20 new words every week. But if you're learning two languages at the same time, you could aim for 10, uh, for 10 words in each language. You break it down and psychologically that can help you feel more motivated and a little bit less tired of the learning process. So when you're learning two languages at the same time, some people say that you will get confused. And for example, if you choose two languages that are very similar to each other, such as French and Spanish, you might actually get confused. You might start speaking French when you want to speak Spanish, or you might be using words which you think exist in the other language, but they don't actually, or they mean something completely different. So that is a consideration, something to take into account when deciding whether you want to do two languages, and if so, whether you want to do two similar languages. But obviously everyone is different, everyone has a different learning style, and it, you might be the kind of person who doesn't actually get confused by that. So give it a go and see how it goes. If you get confused, choose a different language or drop one of the languages. Uh, you're not really committing to anything for you know, two years, you can commit to something for a week, see how it's going, and then revise your goals and your methods. But generally, I think most people are not really confused when they're learning two languages at the same time even if they're learning two similar languages. So if you think about bilingual people, they have some kind of uh, ability to um, differentiate between the two languages that they speak, uh, and they can do it almost automatically. And that's something that you can develop as a language learner as well. Obviously that doesn't work for everyone, but I think for most people it will work. And there's certain things you can do to support this. So I made a separate video actually about learning multiple languages at the same time, giving you tips on how you can sort of organize your learning to make sure that you're, you've got a clear division between the languages that you're learning. So one example I can give you now is using different rooms. So for example, you will only learn French in the kitchen and you will only learn German in your bedroom. Uh, or you can do things like only learning one language at home and then only learning the other language when you're on public transport, for example, traveling to work. So that helps you create that kind of mental distinction between the languages and it can support um, you with learning and create less confusion. So another consideration for you to think about when deciding whether to learn two languages is you might find yourself not really making enough progress. You might be thinking, actually, I'm only learning a little bit here and there, only a little bit in, in Polish and only a little bit in Japanese. So what's the point? I'm not really getting anywhere. So depending on your goal, I think you need to kind of see how it goes. And then obviously, if you de devote double the amount of time to one language, you will be making more progress. So it just all depends on what your approach is and what your goals are and why you're doing it and also what your expectations are. Because if your expectations are to be fluent in one year um, and you haven't got that much time, then maybe learning two languages is not for you. So the bottom line, uh, the main message in this video is uh, that I want to encourage you to answer the question of why do you want to learn two languages at the same time? And perhaps that will help you um, start the kind of decision-making process. So have you got a specific um, holiday planned? You know, in two years time, you want to do some traveling in South America and in France. So you want to speak Spanish and French in, in two years time. Uh, or maybe you're moving abroad and you only really need one language and then you can learn the other language when you get there. So think about your goals, think about your learning style as well, and hopefully those things will help you make the decision. Uh, anyway, if you're learning two languages at the same time, let me know in the comments below what they are and how it's going and share any tips with the rest of the community. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.